Hi everyone, it's Helen Griffin here and thank you for joining me today. So today we're going to be making the portrait album. So I'll be using these two die sets here. So the first one is the portrait album die set. This will do your pages and your covers and all the accessories. And then we have the album binding die set. So this will do your spine and your hinges. So let's pop that aside. So in this one you get 14 dies. And this large one here at the back, don't worry, I'll tip it all out so you can all have a look. But this one at the back here will do your pages and your covers. This one will do your page map. Here we have a full length pocket and then we have two pockets here. You can use them um, both but this one here was specifically designed to go with the flexible gift bag which is this, this die set here. So this is one of uh, the dies from my first release and this is the small uh, gift bag die. So you can actually use this gift bag die with this binding system as well. So we just put added one of these pockets that's going to work with that die there and this uh, page mat here will also work as an insert for this paper bag as well so to use this as an insert for this um, the, for the portrait album you will have to trim it down a little bit because of the binding system but I'll, I'll explain all that later so here we have a waterfall album and I just love how all of these stack we get page tab we get a, a lace border as well and some corner things so let's tip all this out and have a quick look inside make sure everything's come out okay so this is the page die this will do your pages and your covers and it what it will do is we'll cut it out and it will also score it here and here so you can fold it up so all the hard work has been done for you and you will be needing a large format um, die cutting machine so today I'll be using my Gemini for that so here we have the page mat that will fit inside there perfectly so there is space there for you to do a further mat in the middle so there is definitely space there for you to be creative so here we have a full length pocket it's like a tuck point there so these ones will fold inwards so it will do the score lines along here and that will fold in there and here are the two pockets so the smaller one they're very similar in size but there is a slightly smaller one the smaller one is for this die here so you can create pockets so if you wanted to get the whole set go for the whole set so this is the larger one this is what this is the one that's going to fit with there but yeah feel free to use the smaller one as well and then you can use them on their side or at the bottom and here we have the waterfall element so what's great about this is if you're cutting them out by hand they may be varying in your sizes and your scoring and your waterfall may go a bit wonky but when you use a die to actually make your waterfall and if you have no idea what I'm talking about I will show you exactly how to make one then you'll know what I mean but um, when you use a die everything is straight and scored and it just goes together really well so here we have the lace border so you can decorate this on the inside or the outside of your pages and here we have these lovely um, rectangles with the inverted corners. I love these. So these stack together beautifully. So you can even use this one here to cut your photo out and then frame it onto a piece of cardstock or pattern paper. And here we have a banner so you can stamp any sentiment or title on this banner. And then we have two photo corners. Uh, one's a very simple one and the other one is a little bit more decorated perfect for using on the sides of your album or even on the corners of your photographs and here we have a tab so this will be perfect for any inserts that you put in pockets or even for the large main pockets because each page is a pocket as well so um, there's loads of interactions with this so let's pop everything back in here and then I will get out everything for assembling the page because I have everything that we're going to be needing already prepared don't want to lose any of those pieces right that's all put away so you're going to be needing this first so this is the album binding die set so you need to choose how large your album wants to be if you remember the um if you've watched the previous video on the binding the outside one the largest one it forms the spine and the outside covers so if you only wanted four pages, you would choose these three here. If you wanted six pages, you would choose 
all of them and if you only wanted two pages you would choose these two here so today we are going to be using all four of these so I've cut them out already these went through my Gemini really quick and easy and it saved me a whole bunch of time so let's get those out so here they all are so all we have to do is fold up the corners so we fold up the flaps use a bone folder if you have one and you'll also be needing some glue as well Okay, it's just a simple case of layering them together so I'm just going to grab my glue I'll be using Cosmic Shimmer and I'm running low on this so I have ordered some more so it should be here in the next few days and all we do is stick that on there making sure that this is straight and this is straight at the top and bottom and that there's an even amount of space between these score lines and those score lines so I lift those up there so we need an even space here and here so press that down do exactly the same with all of the others You can use double-sided tape for this as well if you wish. Okay, so once you're happy with that and it's all straight, press it down and you should end up with something that looks like this. And then we're going to set that aside for it to dry properly before we play with that anymore. Right, so moving on to our pages now. You need to cut out or choose your, choose your pattern paper. I'm using... Pink Paradise from the Paper Boutique and I've cut out six of these because we're going to have six pages and it scored it exactly how, where it needs to be and that's going to fold up like that and this is what's going to attach onto our binding system here to make our page and then in the centre we have a pocket so let's get that glued down Just add your glue here. You can use double sided tape again. I like this one because uh, the glue dries pretty fast with this, so it's really good for assembling things. Right, so that's our page done. And here I have all of my other pages. Right, so now I want to get them all in the right order. So I want all of my openings all at the same time. Place. so we don't want to put any of these on upside down otherwise you'll have a upside down pocket and then I need to choose what orientation in the book for my pages so I'm thinking yeah I think that's okay I might just move a couple along a little bit okay so that's the order of my pages so this one is going to be the front this is going to be the back and my pockets are at the top so let's pop those aside let's move on to our covers now I'm going to need to cut two out of cardstock for these so I have one prepped here already so I'm going to glue that down you have a choice here after we've added them onto the, the binding system on whether you want your cover to have a pocket as well or whether you want to glue it shut so once this has been added onto the outside cover you can then keep your pocket or you can glue it closed so let's do the same to this one so what I did was I spent um, probably about 20 minutes to about half an hour just choosing my papers and my cardstock and then cutting out, out everything that I needed so I could get all of this put together really fast so it really is such a time saver doing all of your cutting out at the same time so here I have my two outer covers now so let's move back to our binding <clears throat> 
So what we need to do is just to get our bone folder again and then fold them all down just like so and then flip them over the other way and then press them down again. This is just exercising them. It's just going to help your book and your, your pages turn nicely. Right, so that's all done. Make sure your pocket's at the top. We are now going to add this one to the right hand side. I'm just going to grab my ruler. I always find this does help in getting, you can use your, your grid mat as well, but I do prefer a ruler. So let's add glue to the outside fin and the inside. You can call them fins, you can call them hinges, wings. And I'm just going to add glue. I'm not going over the score line because that's the part that's going to be visible. I'm going to go into the corners though, just like so. You see there, I've added glue just here. Right, so let's pop this on. I'm going to go up to the score line, but not over it. And before I press down, I just want to make sure that this is straight along here, which it is. It should be. I'm going to just hold that up so I can have a quick look. Yep, that's pretty much straight on there. So if we cover the score line, it's going to have trouble closing. So that's the first one. So you can either turn this over and add the other one, but just make sure that the pockets are both at the top. So let's add some more glue here. definitely running out of glue okay I'm just going to add the same do exactly the same but in reverse on the other side this one's going up a little bit Yeah, using the glue you're going to have a little bit more time to get it in the right place there we go we can press that down now so that is our outside covers done so here's this is what it looks like so far okay so now for our inner pages So we're going to do exactly the same thing, but there is a little um, rule to follow here. When you add your pages, don't um, just put, pop it on and then just glue it like that because then you've kind of glued it in that position. When we add our pages, you have to make sure that it's flat. It's lying down flat before you press it down. And that's what's going to give it that freedom of movement or otherwise all your pages are going to be sticking upright. So let's glue those in as well. You can use double sided tape for this if that's your preference. If you do that, then do it one side of a hinge at a time. So add your tape to both sides, take one strip off, add your page and then take the other strip off and then press it down. As we have the glue, we can do both sides at the same time. Okay, so making sure my pockets are still at the top. And then what we're going to do is slide it onto the hinge. We're going to go up to the score line, but not covering it. And we're also going to make sure this is straight, top and bottom. And this is straight on the score line, it's all lined up. And then I'm going to press down on that side. I'm going to turn it over. And we're going to press on that side. We had a bit of uh, wet glue there. And there we are. That's our first page done. And 
we have a nice pocket here. So before you pop, pop anything in those pockets, just make sure that your glue has dried properly. Okay, on to the second one. I'll show you one more and then I'll add the rest and then I'll be back to show you how to finish off the album. And if you need to see this again, just uh, rewind the video. Just go back and just watch this, this part again. So, yep, always double check where your openings are. Keep them at the top. And then what we're going to do is exactly the same. Lay it down flat. Make sure the top and the bottom are lined and that your score line is not covered. And then press down. Turn it over, press down. Okay, so I'll be right back after I've added all of these pages. So I'll do this one. And then on this side, I will start adding them and layering them and lining them up to this side of the cover. But I will be double checking when I tur turn it over that it still lines up with the top and bottom here. Because if you get a wonky page, then all of your other pages can go wonky as well. And it's not a great look. So let me finish this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's all done. All of our pages are in and they all work really well and everything's lined up. So it's really coming together now. Right, so let's do our outside covers. So what I did was I took the, the matte die. I'll show you. I've taken the matte die here and I've cut out the patterned paper first and then I stuck the pattern paper with some glue onto some Miri card and then I just got my paper trimmer and I cut off the two corners so I, I lined it up with the corner of the Miri card here so there was absolutely zero measuring at all so that's going to go on here for our front cover and then this one is going to go onto our back so let's get those glued down Okay, so all I need to do now is cut something to use on the spine there. Okay, so that's our front cover, almost done. So here I have um, the lace trim. I'm just going to pop that there. So I'm just going to add some glue. Just a bit of strategic glue along the outside edge. You can spend a bit more time doing this. Alternatively, don't add the glue to this section and you can kind of use it as a little tuck point so you can tuck something in there. Okay, so that's the lace trim. That's been added now. It's looking good. Right, so let's concentrate on the inside. So here I have the full length pocket and I've matted it with some patterned paper so that measures I had to manually do this one so that's six and one eighth by two and three quarters of an inch and I've also gone in with the one inch die there circle die after I've matted it and then we can now glue this onto there to make a pocket so we can tuck something in there photos anything you want so let's grab the glue this one first and line it up top and bottom and on the outer edge as well 
Then I'm going to tuck these in, top and bottom. And because it's wet glue, I can then just gently ease it into place if it's slightly off. Okay, so that is our pocket. And if you want to line that, you can um, line that again with some more patterned paper. That would look quite nice with maybe this one here behind it. Okay, so that's the pocket for this side. And now I have two pockets here that I'm thinking I might add one here. And then perhaps maybe another one on this side. So let me add those. Try and get into the corners with your glue here. Okay, so that's a pocket. Because we've used the hinges on all three sides, it's a full pocket. It's a pocket that's going to go edge to edge. Right, so let's get this one. So with a, a pattern matching, I've gone for a busy pattern and a, a, a more a simple plain pattern. And the same for this one. I've done the opposites as well. So if you're not very good at your pattern matching or deciding what papers to go for, it's always best to place busy and more simple together and they will complement each other really well. Okay, so that's that pocket in. And now we're going to finish off our album by adding a waterfall feature at the back. So here I have everything prepped. So I have five, I've trimmed out five of these. I'm not sure if five will fit. We'll see if we can make five fit. So I would like this one to be at the top. So all I'm going to do is add some glue on the flap that's on the paper side. And then glue that on. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap at the top. And I'm not going to go too close to the score line here where it folds. We want this to be able to close. But obviously we don't want it so far off the edge here that it goes outside of the book. So before I stick any more down, I'm going to pattern match now. This one... And then a plain one, and then one with a bit more pattern. So that's the order I'm going to do it. So let's add a bit of glue to this one. And the good thing about using the die for this is that everything is straight and scored and square. So everything's in the right place, so there's no risk of things being slightly off, unless you stick it on slightly off. So I'm lining this up with the edge of this one here. And I'm going to lift it up just to make sure that it's lined up. And we'll close that down and we'll close that down. So about adding photos, I would add them here. You can trim down your photos. And then they can fit in there. One of the natures of using and making mini albums is you do have to trim down your photos or print them off quite small so that they can fit in your mini albums because the mini albums not all of them are going to take the six by fours you'd need to make a larger album but we do have some other album dies that do do the larger sizes so you can put your six by four photos in those ones check we haven't got to the bottom yet there's there's still room there for a few more oh, that one went on a bit wonky 
use glue so we can straighten that out so let's pop all those down so you can create any sort of closure if you want I'm gonna leave it just like that as the album gets used it's going to remember it's supposed to go down but you can use magnets or anything like that and um, I do have another video where I did um, make a magnet this is the landscape album and I made a magnet here I haven't finished it off yet but I have used a magnet for that one so these ones will take just uh, slightly under a 6x4 so it's really easy to trim those down Okay, so that's the album that we're going to be that we finished making today. Um, it, it, I think I've showed you everything you, you, that you do need to know. If you have any questions, do get in touch. And um, yeah, I really hope that if you have this album die, that you enjoy making it. So thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.